today I'm going to share with you exercises using the horse's tail. These can be good for core stimulation, stretching the whole spine and useful for horses that hold tension within their back, hindquarters and tail. Some of these exercises are included in my Pilates book and video. But first of all, let's take a look at the anatomy of this area. The tail vertebrae themselves actually start not at the top of the tail here, but within the hindquarters. There are three tail vertebrae actually within the hindquarters from the end of the sacrum and before we get into the main part of the tail. The spinal cord ends in the sacrum, but many nerves do continue from the spine into the horse's tail. And when we look at the muscles, these also help us to appreciate how the tail is an extension of the spine. The muscles aren't just within the tail itself, or indeed originating from these three tail vertebrae in the hindquarters, but they extend further forward, coming from the sacrum and even from the lumbar region. And these tail muscles are connected into the rest of the muscles of the spine as well. This first exercise is a simple mobilisation exercise. I suggest you start at the bottom of the tail and very gently and slowly circle the tail using the upper part of your hand to stabilise that section and then move up to the next uh, few joints here, just gently circling. As you move up the tail, you will feel that you get more movement in these higher sections. So there'll be more movement the higher up you go. This is a lovely exercise for horses that hold tension within their tail um, and within the hindquarters itself as well. It's important to do it in both directions. So I suggest maybe using say three circles in one direction and then three circles in the other direction as well. And although we're just moving or just trying to move the joints within the horse's tail, we will actually be having an effect all the way through up the tail and into the rest of the spine as well, influencing the muscles, the fascia, the connective tissue into the spine further forward and often into the back itself. This next exercise is actually to take hold of the tail with both hands and do a nice big slow circle. And as I do this, I perhaps have a tiny little bit of traction on the tail, so just pulling out ever so slightly, as big as we can in a nice big circle. And then the other direction as well. Well, you could think that this is just about mobilising those joints at the top of the tail, which is, this is the most mobile section of the tail itself. Um, but also you will notice that there's a bit of a weight transfer. The horse will shift his weight from one side to the other. The movement will be transferred forward through the rest of the spine as well. And once again, with this, it's important to do the circles in both directions. The whole spine extension stretch is a lovely passive stretch to do after you've worked your horse. It's lovely to stretch not just the tail, but the whole spine. Pick up the tail, make sure it's coming out from the body. It's a nice neutral position, so not too high and not too low. Wrap the tail around your hand just to have a, a good hold on it. And then very gradually load your weight onto the tail. Rather than thinking about pulling the horse's tail, I like to just think about leaning on the tail, just loading the tail. And then you yourself relax into that position. This clearly will be adding traction through the, through the tail and into the spine, through the fascia, all the way through the horse's spine. And if you 
get the horse to lower his head at the same time, that's even better. This next exercise I call the tail pull rock and it's really good for mobilising the body and stimulating the core muscles. Once again, I'm going to gently take hold of the tail and um, having it at about this angle, so a nice neutral position, not too high not, or too low, coming out from the, uh, from the spine. And what I'm going to do is to gently load my weight onto the tail and then pull myself back up again. So I load my weight onto the tail and then pull myself up again. I'm not pulling the tail as such, more thinking about the straightness in my body. It's a bit of a workout for me too. But by doing this, it means I'm going to have a nice smooth loading onto the tail. And actually, you should see quite a rock through his whole body. As I affect his balance, yeah, weight transfer from the hindquarters to the forend, we might see some abdominal recruitment as we move through this rock. We may see some flexion and extension within the back, uh, within the, the lumbar region, with the lumbar sacral junction, and within the uh, thoracic region. You may also notice that the thorax moves forwards and backwards between the horse's front end. And there very often you'll see a change in the shape of the horse's withers just behind the scapula, that area there. Um, you'll see a, sh a change as he shifts his weight uh, forwards and backwards. And of course, this will result in recruitment of the very important thoracic sling muscles, which help to support the thorax between the front legs, uh, keeping the weight up off the forehand. So recruitment of those core muscles are important for good posture and performance as well. There are loads of exercises that you can perform using the horse's tail. This is just a small selection. Try them out with your horse and let me know how you get on. Thank you.